Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 11 in Kushto Query Language playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about project rename operator and project reorder operators in Kushto Query Language. In our previous videos, we have discussed about project operator. We have also discussed about project uh, include operator, project away operator, right? So we have discussed all those operators in our past videos. So if you haven't watched them, so please try to watch them and then come back to this video so that you will get more uh, sense of it actually. And also before watching this video, I will encourage you to watch Azure Data Explorer playlist actually. So that is one of the playlist is very much needed for you to understand before you start the Kushto Query language playlist. So please explore that playlist and then come here so that you will get most out of it. So let's try to understand this project rename operator and project reorder operators with some examples here. So very favorite thing. So we are always using a table called Strom events table, right? So the same table we will use it for a demo and I will explain that. So let's go to Kushto Explorer. So what is Kushto Explorer? I have already discussed in the previous videos. So that is the reason I always say please watch the previous videos. Uh, so here this is a Kushto Explorer. Here I have already created a connection for this help cluster and in this help cluster we have a database called samples and inside samples database under tables there is something called strom events folder inside which we have strom events table this we already know let's go to home menu let me click this new tab that's where we can write our queries in kushto query language right you know that so now here let me do one thing let me try to get all the columns and rows from the strom events table first for that we just need to use the table name that's it don't use anything else and hit this run button to execute the query and wait here for the query executions to complete here and once the query execution completes you can see entire data in this panel you can see all the columns came and all the rows came now project operator you guys already know it will work like a select statement to select only few columns right so this project rename operator as I mentioned in the slide, it will help you to rename the columns in the output table. So in the output table, if you want to rename the columns, then this project rename operator will help. So let me practically demo this so that you will understand it. Now here, if you see this output, here we have a column called state and uh, this state column name, I don't want as a state, I want it as a state name. So will that possible? Yes, it is possible. So what you do here, you use uh, under the storm events then use this pipe character and then after pipe character use this project then rename operator and here so what i want the name to be like a state name this is the column name i want for which column i want i want this for the state column so use like this now what will happen right this column name will be converted as state name column and along with this column all other columns also will come so let me practically run this code and show you the results. So when I hit this execute button, what will happen? This state column name will be converted to state name. And not only that, all other columns will come. Generally, we know that we have seen, right? When you use a project operator, it will get only the columns which you mentioned there, right? But with the project rename, it is not like that. It will just help to rename a column, but all other columns from the input table will come in the output also. And if you see the output now, you, we, you can clearly see here, we got state column as a state name. You can clearly see it here, right? So that's how it works. Okay. So now there is another operator which we are going to discuss in this video, which is project reorder operator. This will actually helps you to reorder the columns in the output table. So for example, in the same table, I have this order, right? Start time, end time, episode ID, then event ID, state name, event type. So all these columns we have in this order, right? Maybe I want this state column, right? This state column I want to be like at the starting, like first it should start with the state column and other columns. Then what you can do here, right? Instead of project rename, try to use project reorder. And here, mention the column which you want to push it to the starting. So I use the state column here. Now let me hit this run button to run this query and wait for the results to appear here. Now if you see the results, 
the state column came at the starting and then followed by the other columns so like this we can rearrange the columns maybe i want to take all the columns which have event in the column name so there are totally three columns if you see here we have event id event type and also there is something called event narrative column see we have this three event three columns where the column name starts with event i want to take all these columns to the starting so what i can do i can mention like this like event id then event type so so all that i can manually mention or what i can do all the columns where it starts with event and then star means after event it can be anything so i can use this pattern also so if i execute this query now what will happen right that all the columns where we have event as a first word it will take all that columns and it will place them in the starting position of the output table followed by the other columns you can clearly see the results here right once the query executed we got event id first and then we got event type and then we got event narrative right let me make it little smaller here and here also if you observe these three columns were starting with the event so these three columns came here but here the order is in ascending order actually so if you closely observe these three columns among themselves are arranged in a ascending order for some reason i want to arrange them in a descending order i want this to be at the starting then this is second and this to be at the end so i want to do that uh, descending order thing so will that possible yes so what you can do after project reorder then the column pattern or column name use this ascending and descending operator here and let me hit this execute button now and let's wait for the results to appear here so this time event narrative will come at the first then event type then event id will come so once the query executes you will clearly see that same thing here so query execution successful it looks so let's see so let me minimize this and now if you see okay oh sorry uh, it was not uh, ascending order before actually sorry now it was in a descending order event type then event narrative then event id see t then n then i so if you want to get it ascending order actually you have to explicitly mention this okay now let me hit this uh, run button to execute this query and wait for the result this time you will see them in a ascending order basically now if you closely observe the results we got event id then we got event narrative then event type so this is the actual ascending order so sorry i mistakenly said if you don't use anything it will come in ascending order no it won't come it will come as per the table in a real table how the order it is so if you want to explicitly force ascending and descending try to use that ascending and descending operator here on top of the project reorder operator so that's it in this video thank you for watching i hope you got an idea please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much